stranger to the daytime set, Jennifer Andrew is back. She is the founder of Fit Your Style. Hello, hello. How are you, my lady? I'm doing well, thanks. Good, good, good. You've had an awesome show. Listen, you really I, have. I had, to take, going, wow. I had to say thank you, Belvedere, but take the martini away. I need to focus <laughs> on the show. Uh, we are talking about binging, stress, and the things that correlate with those. Right, because number one, stress kills. You know, a lot of us are go, go, go. We're constantly on social media. I found this in my own life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I always like to come on with things that I've learned yeah. myself. So even though traveling a lot, doing some amazing things, it's still stress. It's still adrenal glands. It's still fight or flight situations. Because you're putting yourself in situations that involve the public, involve presentation. Exactly. Yeah. But even stay-at-home moms, all of us yep. have some sort of relation to stress. So we need to deal with it because the first sign is, Ooh, what's going on over here? The little weight gain happening. That's a side effect going ding, 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 ding. Your cortisol's through the roof. Okay, so walk me through that because you could eat healthy, mm -hmm. you could do the right things, mm -hmm. but you still might gain weight because of stress. Correct, because okay. even exercise is stress. Mm. It's a good stress, but it's still stress. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, yep. so, and just like you mentioned, if all these amazing, cool things are happening, it's still stress. You're stretching yourself. You're growing yourself. Your adrenal glands are going up. You're, you're making yourself do something maybe out of your comfort zone. That's still stress. Yeah. And then we have traditional stress of time, of money, of social media, yeah. Well, I deleted my Instagram for that very reason. Wow. Just 86 did. Wow. That's another segment, I, though. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah. Well, one of the things that I want to talk to you about is... So you're dealing with the stress. You're dealing with the day-to-day. -day. Right. How do you move forward? This is what I wanted to do. I just brought on some very simple things because okay. my philosophy, as you know, is we don't have to go so right-winged one way or the other. Let's just start modifying a few things to get you in control with your stress. Before we get to that, you brought up a good point because mm -hmm. people think, today I'm going to change my life. It doesn't work And that then way. they go extreme one side and it crashes and burns so they go the other way. Exactly. It doesn't work. Okay. It doesn't work. So just baby steps. So number one, we have walnuts. Having 10 a day because yeah. of the essential fatty acids, and I'm going to keep this really general today, um, it actually helps bring down um, cortisol. 10 a day. So walnuts. Keep the stress away. Good. Yeah, good. Our tuna. Tuna actually produces our happy hormones. So if you have it once a week, it's going to make you feel good. Okay, healthy specialist. <laughs> I try to incorporate tuna into my life. Yes. Unfortunately, it's usually in a tuna sandwich with mayo. Okay. Or tuna salad. Okay. Am so I still getting the goods? Well, here's a couple of suggestions you can make. Try your tuna. Do you like mustard? I do like mustard. Try your tuna with mustard and try your tuna with dill. It gives it a great taste, kind of reduce a little bit of that mayo. Yeah. And you're still going to have that sensation of having a little mayo, but the, the mustard will be more than the mayo. The dill will give it another flavor. Understood. Try it. Tell okay. me how you like it. Good idea. Okay. Next. UCLA says, I wanted to cut these up and for you to inhale citrus, it helps bring down the stress levels. You Soy know, candles. Go ahead. I was going to say when I'm making my Belvedere martini and yeah. I'm doing a citrus peel, <laughs> I get the citrus flavor. I have to say you looked happy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So inhaling citrus, a good yes. idea. Exactly. It's good for you. Chickpeas. Chickpeas actually brings down the cortisol level by 14%. So whether it's yes. <laughs> when introducing chickpeas into the diet, though. Yes. Oh, yes. You must be aware that... We need a rinse, and mm. we might need a little beano. Yes. Right? That's just the reality. Yeah. So rinse, rinse, rinse. You have to rinse your beans. So black beans, chickpeas, any peas, make sure you rinse them. But they will reduce the cortisol, and they actually have fiber, which helps us maintain our sugar levels. So not only are we going to feel uh, more energetic and clear, we're actually helping with the stress. Okay. And then something called holy basil. Holy basil. <laughs> that man... Careful. <laughs> Family show, Jennifer. <laughs> it saved my life. Holy basil just keeps you calm and grounded. Now, always check with your doctor first because it is a herb, and you want to make sure that you can have this supplement. It just helps you feel happy and good. Okay, so I think one of the things, though, is that we're going to talk about exercise in a second, yes. your little toy that you brought here, mm -hmm. is that people want to change, but they get discouraged so easily about the change, and they buy the chickpeas, or they buy the tuna, and it sits in their shelves for eight months, and then they think, why? Start with one. So don't go out and buy all of this today. Just start with one. Do you like walnuts? Or are you, are you our goal is to start eating more nuts because you know they're good for you? Start yeah. with that. You actually write it out. You know how we keep our planner on our phones? Yeah. I'm going to eat my walnuts today. 
You have to, 21 days to form a habit, as you know, mm -hmm. you have to go slow. Just pick one little thing. Try the tuna with the mustard. Yeah. Because otherwise, yeah, you're right. If it, we bite off all of this today, chances are, you're, unfortunately, you're not going to do it. It's the small victories. And it the is. thing I do very much enjoy about you is the fact that you came from a different place than we see you today. Absolutely. Bad ridden. Completely. You started with baby steps. That's right. Okay. And I'm constantly having health challenges. I'm very public about all my health challenges that I have. Yeah. I'm public about that because I have to work every day at my health and exercise. Mm. I'm not any different than you are or the viewers. But I'm going to share with you simple steps that can become reality. All right. Speaking of simple okay. steps. Okay. I know. It's a gadget. I'm already not a fan. You know that. Okay. <laughs> so. What but you got you were off All camera. Right, so we can't watch your face. I know. That's so, my money maker, so I gotta be real good to it. I'm not a gadget person, as you know. Yeah. I don't endorse this company. I'm not involved with them. Am I, I thought this right was here? very cool. Yep. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is exhale, contract your abs, your shoulders, and pull. And pull. I'm doing it wrong already. Here, I'll show okay, you. Please. This is called the Spin Gym. It's designed by Forbes Riley. She's in the International Hall of Fame for most products ever sold. Over two billion products. Okay. Okay. What you're doing is you're keeping this orb going, and you want to keep it horizontal and not dipping. So if you look at my uh, my yeah, um, arms right, right now, now, right? Yeah. And I'm not adding anything to no, this. No, I know. And the only way I can keep this going, and the faster that that spins, the faster I need to keep up. Okay, so. Well, I was laughing at it during the rehearsals, yes. and then I did it, and I was like, all right, legit, my arms are getting tired. And so. the only reason why I brought this on is we are time starved, stress. People have modifications, maybe uh, wrist issues. Mm -hmm. They can't do traditional exercise. I think it's $60 Canadian. It's a great way if you're trying to get that exercise in, but you don't have a lot of time, at least it's a start. It's fun. Or in the very least, go take a walk tonight. Exactly, as we both know. Yeah. It's free. Get the vitamin D in. It feels good. Yes. Okay. And we have a boot camp started. Okay, really quick. Yeah, so place. Fitcher Style Boot Camp. It's at 7.30 in the morning on Saturdays. Um, I know, but it's bright and early, so you can start your whole day. And it's for women and men that don't want that gym environment, that just want to get together and work hard for one hour. The website is? Vitrostyle.com. And you'll find all the information there. You got it. All right, coming up next, guys, we are cooking with the Dairy Farmers Association. And we have all kinds of great recipes taking place. More daytime, Eric Regan, after the break. Don't go anywhere.